Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. Tell us a story. So there was this deer. It was bedded. It was in a tight spot up against this bush where I couldn't, no shot whatsoever. And Snoops takes the decoy, goes all the way around, and walks out in the bottom, hoping the deer will see it and stand up, obviously. And so he's walking, walking, and the deer just seems paying him zero attention. I can't really tell if he can see him. There's cedar or other brush. Snoops goes uphill on the opposite side, keeps getting to about the point where it was getting a little ridiculous to me. And the deer, I don't know, when the deer stood up, you know, he would have been looking this way at Snoops, but when he stands up, he's like this. Like he's kind of got an eye on me and an eye on Snoops. And I don't, I don't know what made him do that, but I hit full draw. I felt great about the shot. I remember to make myself aim low because I felt like he's going to drop, but the shot's high. My first thought was, the shot's too high. And he takes off up the hill. Kind of turns to the left, and then he goes over a ridge, and I lose him. I think Tanner saw him a little bit farther, but he loses him too to the ridge. Which way did he go? This way. He came through this little. And so I take off running up to the top of the hill, and we kind of work our way trying to get eyes on him again. And we bump a doe comes out of that draw right over there that comes out of the top of it. Could have spooked from us running up the other side, whatever. I don't know. But can't find any blood. I felt like he was pretty dang broadside to me, but when he's running off, it's obviously quartering. So I think he was. So that's good. Yeah, it's good that it's quartering, but it just still feels too high. High like in no man's land? Or like, yeah, I felt like I jacked that up high. Really? I, either, I think he either came over the saddle and down this draw, or he side held down into that draw. That draw there is what you think? Yeah, well, well, what do you think then? Do we give him some time and then just start working through here? Yeah, I mean, it's like right under the And we didn't get any footage? Everything up to before? The, Did you not hit record? or? No, well, yeah, I hit record, but I had malfunctions with body coming off the camera and it's sinking as that buck is coming. What now? Body, this was body, falling and so I went to off. grab it and then the body shifted. So as that happened, I thought I pushed record afterwards and apparently not. Basically, so no one did their job right over here except correct. So why did we not wait for us to get over here? Was he, was he antsy or? He would have got up. He was, a, he was in the sun. And he yeah, had a, he and he and he had a good angle because I walked up here and looked at him, and then I left and went around. Okay, well, we should give him some time. Then, how long has it been? You think an hour? Forty-five minutes to an hour, I'd say. So we got to give him some time. To call him, huh? Yeah, you know how those. I mean, if it's high backstrap like that, we can give him twenty weeks, and we're not gonna find it. Well, but right. If we or, hit something in there—an artery or got a liver or something—then giving him time is the right decision. Yeah. He kind of went around the corner of this draw and disappeared. So he came over the top somewhere. He's somewhere in this side of Nebraska. But he was going fast. Q and I have been regulated to the C team. We're not even the B yeah. team anymore. <laughs> We are back in the truck. We're heading to get some lunch. Looks like we're gonna give this buck three, four hours. And then we'll see if we can get back in. We might even have to grid search a little bit so we can find some blood. It's 
dry grass is really hard to find blood in right now and the wind is whipping so we're hoping that we can go get back on something hopefully either see him bedded get another arrow in him or find him dead uh, they didn't there was no blood down there where they shot him that's what they said there. nothing Center through no man zone. I thought about you twice. Now, there's no way you can shoot an arrow through that brush and Trevor can't get one past the cactus. And don't let your arrow get blown off the wrist when you start coming. Did it help? No. I'm probably gonna compartmentalize you yeah, a little bit you'll more. You probably need to probably push me out of your head. Yeah. Those swing thoughts aren't what you need. Back, we are back and we are gonna get uh, back on see if we can't get find some blood find CJ zero and we're gonna end up working these draw he shot him right there we're gonna work on over and start kind of glassing up some of this country and see if we can't either find embedded and get another arrow in him or find him dead been about three hours so fingers crossed Kyle, you want to go with CJ, sure. and you and I will just. Grow. And what we'll plan on doing is, is meeting at least down there, and then we'll make a plan for the next okay. piece. And just look, make sure you glass up a, each one as off, we come down. Off, yeah. yeah. Okay. You have you're an not, expectation of your camera. You're not and, fired. Well, you can't quit. <laughs> so don't worry about it. Can you teach me like the kids did back in the 80s, like you spank them? Nope. Do um, nope. No. You, you punish yourself enough. Oh. Okay. Maybe I'm into being punished tomorrow. <laughs> I really want to make sure I explain the situation of what's happened today. Um, we've just spent four hours looking for this buck, but let me go back. So Levi and I had found a, a smaller buck 
perfect trad buck. I mean, you know, just an opportunity where he was set up. And the guys were over here looking for this buck and they finally found it. And we got a text from Tanner saying, hey, we found the buck, um, we're gonna go in on him. Well, we text back, hey, do you want us to come and run secondary, you know, a, a two to 600, get that long lens. Um, didn't hear anything back, which probably meant, and it did, that they were gonna go kill that buck. He was in a good position. So Tanner texted, hey, we're gonna go kill this buck, probably put his phone in his pocket and dropped off in the draw, which then he'd lose signal. So we had no communication after that. And then the last, the next text we get is CJ shot it, shot a buck. So we got over here. What apparently had happened is in uh, the stock, they got into a perfect position, about 20, 19 yards and set up waiting for the buck to stand. And they did uh, what we do all the time, which is take that Montana decoy, that whitetail buck decoy, and Tanner got up probably 150 to 200 yards away on another ridge and just started working to try and just get the buck to stand up and be paying attention to that so then CJ can get the shot off. When the buck stood up, um, we've been having some camera problems with our primary camera, our FX3 and the, the 70 to 200, where it doesn't lock in. You think it locks in and it doesn't. And when Kyle picked up the camera, it just disconnected just enough to where it shut itself off. Well, this is go time. Kyle got the camera set back in, saw that it was there, and the record button didn't get hit. So unfortunately, we don't. You ha we have the shot of them getting in position, ready to rock and roll, but we don't have the actual shot. Um, they felt like the shot was a little bit high, but they were at an angle, so they were thinking maybe one lung, one liver, left to right, it was perfect. Um, the buck came up, ran up, dipped over the hill. What we didn't have was the secondary camera, the two to six, to watch everything in full focus and see where the buck went, see the hit, be able to review the footage in case we had a malfunction. Um, normally we don't do that. Normally we run two setups, so I have to apologize for that. But where we are now is we came back, we looked for blood, we could not find blood. Um, so we started to do a grid search. But before we did that, we went back to camp and gave it three, three and a half hours, which meant it was four to five hours from the time of the shot. Um, plenty of time thinking that it was a little bit high, but a, uh, a one lung. We have, to this point, not found a drop of blood. So this afternoon we went and just started grid. We went and worked out all the draws all the way to the south, got the wind in our favor, and then came back down in the lower spots where we really felt that he would drop down to. And we thought we would get on some blood. Haven't found any. So we don't know what's happened. The sun is sinking, and um, I don't want to make excuses. Uh, bow hunting is a full contact sport. It's a blood sport. And in order for you to notch your tag, something has to die. Um, we're gonna continue to look. Um, we're not giving up, but I just wanted to give you an update. Since we don't have the footage of the actual shot to show you where the shot was. So I just wanted to honestly share what's happened. We have literally spent the last five hours looking. And um, the last four and a half miles <laughs> looking. Um, so that's where we're at. We'll, we'll continue to look tomorrow and, uh, and go from there. Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.